Nityanandam, my name is Sona Kamat, and I'm a board-certified internal medicine and rheumatology physician in the United States. To give you a little background, in my early career, I spent time doing research at an academic center, training medical students, internal medicine residents, and rheumatology fellows. Over the last 12 years, I've practiced uh, private practice rheumatology, and I'm a very busy rheumatologist. Just to give you an idea of who is now looking at this science, yesterday, we had one of the most amazing experiences, and we're truly blessed by Swamiji to experience what Ramanujan experienced when the Mukur Mahalakshmi bestowed upon him this, this gift of math. The last two days, we've played with our balasans and given them very complicated math uh, uh, compounding factors and trigonometry, and their answers are accurate again and again, to the point where when our answer is incorrect, we now look at our calculator and redo our uh, calculation because most likely we've punched the wrong button, not that they have it wrong. Now, having understood this, Yesterday, Ma Pragnana happened to find herself on a team with two physicians. So you can see now where my thought process is leading. We looked at her and we said, we know that they can give us all kinds of complicated math answers and distances and whatnot, but can this science, even in the length dimension, go a step further? So we decided to give her medical questions. Now she looked at us first with, awestruck eyes with, what are these people going to do to me? And so we decided to give her first a simple medical question, or what we thought was a simple medical question. We gave her this. For a patient who suffers from an uncomplicated urinary tract infection by the organism E. coli, what would be the treatment? And she looked at us, blinked several times, and then started to write frantically. Now, mind you, both Dr. Saraswati and I were thinking we would get back an antibiotic. We gave her a pen even when she looked initially at us because we thought she wouldn't be able to pronounce the antibiotic. We thought it may be easier for her to write down the name of the antibiotic. When she started to write frantically, we both stood over her notebook to see what she was writing. And this is what she wrote. Step one. First, test the urine for an infection. Step two, make sure that the patient drinks plenty of fluids. Step three, give the patient adequate glucose support. Now this, from a Balasanth, who has no medical background and is so much more accurate. People are studying medicine. We had to step back and think about how we're doing things. Now, of course, our wheels are turning. Next thing we know is we're starting to come up with all kinds of questions for her because we have to rethink how we're doing things. We have to look at medicine again. This is finally happening for medicine, an unbiased, unprecedented event in medicine is happening in our day and age. 